Welcome to Beauty in Bloom. <laughs> My name's Tanya. If this is your first time here, welcome. If not, welcome back, friends. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done so. I really appreciate it and why wouldn't you want to be part of my YouTube fam? Anyway, today we are doing a very easy beginner eyeshadow tutorial. So if you want to see an easy way to do your eyeshadow, especially if you're just starting out or just getting interested, then please stay tuned. Today I'm showing you how to apply eyeshadow. This is good if you're a beginner and it's also good if you've been having some problems. Okay, when you think of having good eye makeup, you think of blending and having good blending brushes. And this is so important, but what's also really important is how you hold your brush. If you ever find your eyeshadow turns out really patchy, try not holding it so close to the bristles. When you hold your brush back a little further, you're going to have a lot less control. And this sounds like a bad thing, but this is actually going to give you a softer, more airbrushed blend. Now I'm going to take my first eyeshadow and start applying this to the area where you would see if my eye was open. This is the area above the crease, and this is called the transition shade. Basically, it's going to create a gradient in your eyeshadow look and make everything look a little more natural than just having a color on the lid. I want to keep the inner corners of my eye bright. That's like a really universally flattering look. So I'm going to take some light eyeshadow and place it on the inner part of my lid in case any of the darker shadow tries to transfer to that area. Now I'm just going back over the transition shade just to deepen it a little. And then we're going to add some dimension. And I know I have you up close and personal and you can see all of my fine lines and wrinkles. So just ignore that. I'm probably a little older than you. <laughs> now you can start working on the outer corner of your eye. And this is where the darkest shadow should go on. When I want to pack on color really well, I hold the brush close to the bristles. That way I get firm control and I'm able to just really pack it in. And then when I blend, I always like to hold it out a little bit further away to get less control and a more airbrushed look. Now I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to start pulling the color towards the mid area of my eye and then towards the outer area just to get rid of any harsh lines that I created with my brush earlier. And once it's all blended, I'm going to start packing on a little more color just to deepen it a bit. That lighter eyeshadow has really settled into my skin, so putting a second layer is going to make it a little more intense. I'm also going to apply this lighter color to my brow bone. And then blend a little until everything looks seamless. Now I'm just adding the darker shade on my lower lash line as well. Sorry if some of the footage got cut off. This was a little closer than I wanted to be. <laughs> okay, now we are adding a little liner which is Teddy by Mac, to our upper and lower waterline. Then putting on some mascara, which is YSL The Shock. And this is a really universal look. You can wear it daytime, nighttime. Intensify the colors, switch the colors up. It looks beautiful every time. Okay, and this is the finished eyeshadow look. And please remain positive during these stressful times with the politics, with COVID, the whole pandemic thing. It really takes a toll on you. And, you know, after six months in the house, it's like, 
you know, what do we do? But I just want you guys to know that, you know, I'm always here and, you know, just try to find a hobby that you enjoy or some friends to talk to or, you know, just family. Anything to, you know, keep you in a positive state and spread love and positivity and be kind to others and have a great day.